Hi everyone, Paige here with the August Energy Balancing class. I haven't taught one of these classes on YouTube in quite a while now, so if you're someone who is following them, um, this is for you. I thought it was time for an update. And if you're interested in knowing where all those classes went, click on the link in the description below. I have all of those together in one place. You can access that if you wanna join that program. Um, there are 125 classes in there that will walk you through the Eden Method daily routine plus an, addiction, an additional sequence for whatever is going on then, but also that's um, something that you can use at any time for your system to balance your system on a deep level. So today we're going to be talking about the energy of August and also a little bit about what we've been through so far. The class today is about resetting on a deep level because we are putting new patterns into the system. And this is a really important time to do a deep reset. We're gonna work with the triple warmer and the spleen meridians, and also some of the other sort of more um, straightforward aspects of the energy system, but for a powerful result of setting in um, these new patterns that you're taking in as you go through changes. So if you've watched my videos this year, you can look back at any of these energy updates to get a sense of what I'm talking about. I won't go through all of it, but suffice it to say that it has been a year of tremendous change for everyone, and everyone has been feeling this. So I, I encourage you in those videos to think about your life and where that's been showing up for you. Um, but the net result of that is that our systems, our energy systems have to shift and change to adapt. And what's actually happening, because everything is in the energy, is as we go through these changes, whether they're emotional or some sort of um, life, big lifestyle change or something like that, there is an energetic shift that's accompanying those. So as these shifts happen, it means that old patterns and habits are often um, coming apart um, coming undone. It may feel like you're coming undone a little bit. It may feel very unsettling at times. Some of you have already been through a lot of that. Some of you might still be in it. Uh, but what's happening there is that you're shifting your patterns. So today we're going to, um, in our additional sequence after the daily energy routine, we're going to have a sequence to reset those patterns. So thanks for joining me. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and let's get into it. So let's go ahead and begin with our, our daily energy routine. We'll start on the cheekbones, tapping on that stomach point directly under the eyes, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And bringing yourself fully into the space. So remember, this is a time that you're creating for yourself, becoming fully present. And we're gonna start grounding. So we're gonna start sending the energy down through the bottoms of the feet, bringing awareness to the connection of the foot to the floor. You can press against the floor just a little bit to get the grounding of the root chakra going. And stomach, remember, is associated with worry. You know, it's certainly possible that your stomach meridian could be a bit churned up after these months that we've been through and some of the challenges you've faced. So remember that this is a nice one to do um, if you're feeling a lot of worry, if you're feeling unsettled. Okay, let's come down to the K27. So we're sending the energy down through the bottoms of the feet on the exhale, bring it back up on the inhale. It's a nice cycling of the energy of your system, bringing in fresh energy from the earth. And just think about pulling that up and all the way through your body wherever you need some good fresh energy. And then on the exhale, sending out the old and stale. That can be emotion. That can be reactions that you've had. That can be worries that have been circling. Just send it all out into the earth.
Remember, it's great to do this outside, barefoot if you can. Okay, let's come to the thymus gland at the center of the sternum. Give that a good thump. Now, these are good solid thumps. And let's turn the attention to the little toes, sending the energy out the tips of the little toes. On the exhale, you can still come back up through the bottoms of the feet. This is grounding the bladder line. And if you'd like, you can really give some extra attention to this and reach down into the earth. Remember, we always go about 15 feet into the earth with the energy when we do these grounding exercises. You want to find a nice, stable layer to anchor into. We're sending out some of that excess yang energy. Focus on one foot and then the other. We'll just take a minute to do that. And meanwhile, you can come down to the spleen or lymphatics under the breasts. Give those a good thump. Okay, and now let's focus on the tailbone. Send the energy out through the tip of the tailbone on the exhale and down into the earth. And now come to the side of the body for the spleen 21 point. You're about one hand width under your armpit. Okay, so let's now just take a nice deep breath and feel into this grounding that you've created. You might want to close your eyes for that. See what you notice. You should be feeling more present. And hopefully things are just feeling a little more settled. Okay, now we're going to flush the spleen line. So you're starting at spleen 21. You're going to inhale up. And then you're going to exhale down the spleen line so it's inside the hips, inside the knee, in front of the ankle, and off the big toe. And we're going to come back up three times. This is a good spleen flush. Inhaling, pulling up, exhale off spleen 21. Two more. Now if you have a really weak spleen, you don't need to go down once. You can just come up. All right? Okay, so for our crossover pattern today, we're going to do a little bit of crossovers in the additional um, sequence. So I think we're just going to do the marching in place exercise. So I'm going to have you bring your hand to the knee, same side of the body. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Palms towards the ground, deep breath in and out. And now crossing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and breathe. So we've got two more rounds like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and breathe. Now crossing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and breathe. Last set straight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and breathe.
and final set crossing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. When we do an additional twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Palms to the ground for two deep breaths. Let that energy settle. Feel your feet on the floor. Bring in some good body awareness. What do you notice? You might actually be feeling that cross pattern. So see what you notice. Remember, energy is subtle. Don't discount those subtle sensations that you feel. Okay, let's pull our chairs over for the wing cook. All right. Whew. I went to an exercise class yesterday and I can really feel that stretch. All right, so we've got the left foot on the right knee, right hand is on the ankle. The left hand crosses and grabs the bottom of the foot and you're just going to hold. So if that works for you, stay here. I'm gonna show you the modification. Modification would be left foot is over the right foot, crossing at the ankles, hands are in front of you, back to back, left hand comes up, palms come together, fingers interlace and turn it in and hold. And then when we switch sides, you'll put the other foot on top, other hand on top and turn it in there. Okay, so I'm going back to this one and let's just find that nice core alignment here Feel that foot connected to the floor. Feel the hands connecting to the foot and the ankle. Bring in awareness of the breath. And as we breathe in, we're gonna pull up straight through the center of the body as if there's a cord pulling you up. And you're gonna exhale and relax down. Just follow the breath for a minute. And think about settling. Think about stability and grounding and allowing things to settle. As you look back on the last few months, what changes do you already notice in your own life? What changes are currently underway? And we can bring some awareness and intention to allowing those changes and to setting in new patterns. Thinking about where you want to be, how you want to be, how you want to be in different situations, uh, how you carry yourself, general state of being. So we're gonna switch sides now. Right foot goes on the left knee, left hand is on the ankle, right hand grabs the bottom of the foot. Again, good body awareness. What are you noticing? And settling.
Okay, we're gonna bring that foot down, bring all the fingertips together, the thumbs come to the brow, take two deep breaths. Nice stretch here. And the fingers come to the center of the forehead, push in, pull apart and down the sides of the face, let your hands rest in your lap. See what you notice. Okay, we're gonna come right back up to the hairline for the crown pull. You're gonna push in on the inhale, pull an inch to either side on the exhale. Move across the top of the head. Fan down the back of the head. Down the back of the neck. And when you get to your shoulders, squeeze and take a deep breath in. And exhale and drag to the front. I'm going to start us on the legs for our neurolymphatics today. I'm going to have us start with small intestine on the inside of the leg using the thumb. So good deep rub there. Small intestine is about making decisions, it's discernment, knowing what's good for you, knowing what's right for you. Maybe that's something that's been coming up for you right now. You might have to make some decisions. You might also be clearing out. That's something that, you know, as we go through retrogrades, it, they tend to bring back things from the past. That can be a really good time to go back and clear out closets. Think about what you don't need anymore, what you don't use, what you might be carrying around with you that's kind of burdening you. Okay, let's come to the outside of the leg for large intestines. This is that longer line on the outside of the thigh. And just digging in with the fingers. Remember, this is always good firm pressure with the neurolymphatics. And large intestine, of course, is about letting go. It's also, you know, this is important for right now. Large intestine is also about wisdom. That's the positive aspect and it's um, the learning and the wisdom that we take out of situations. Um, and we've certainly had a lot of that this year. So you might think about what, um, what nuggets you're taking away because large intestine is about the nuggets. It's about what, what's worth keeping, what um, can be extracted that's valuable, and then letting go of the rest, letting go of all the toxic parts. So that would be all the emotions associated with the situation. Okay, so let's go to the lung. Starting at the base of the sternum, we're just going to work our way up and down. And this is about new inspiration. The lung is where we carry grief. If you've had a lot of grief this year or even last year, you may have found that that's been weighing on you. You may have found that any deep old emotions that you've had have been coming to the surface. To be, um, to be acknowledged and hopefully processed. I'm moving to the sides of the sternum now for gallbladder. We get those. So I'm just stopping on the ones that I can feel are a little bit sore, which means that they need some work. So you can do the same for yourself. If you find a spot that feels a bit sore. Okay, now let's come under the collarbone. We'll do both sides. 
And we'll work our way out to central right here at where the arm meets the body. We're getting stomach and governing. And let's get right in there where the arm meets the body. I should say where the arm meets the torso. Okay, and switch to the other side. Remember that you do want to drink a lot of water after we do these routines because we move a lot of toxins with these neurolymphatics. You want to flush all of those out and getting into where you would be sewn together if you were a rag doll. So this is a line right here, right in that joint. You can really dig in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stand up and we will move to the Ming Men point on the back side of the body. So you're going to find your navel, travel to the back, rub either side of the spine there. That's the Ming Men point. So giving that a good deep rub, you can stretch it and pull it. And move down to the sacrum, rub across the sacrum. All right, now we're going to grab that energy from the Ming Men, pull it around the waist and down and off the opposite left foot. Same thing on the other side. This is the belt flow. We'll do two times on each side. Ah, that feels good. So see what you notice. If you just, even if you just get a feeling of, ah, oh, that feels good, that's, that's feeling the energy move. Okay. Now we're going to do the zip up and the hook up. So coming to the pubic bone, we'll pull straight up the center of the body and go all the way up overhead. Stretching up and exhaling down to the sides. Two more times. And now we'll put one middle finger in the navel, the other one here at the brow. Push in and pull up with both and hold. And again, feeling your feet connected to the floor and finding that stability, that ease. You have permission to slow down. You have permission to not get everything done. You have permission to take your time. And you will be frustrated in the retrograde energy if you're pushing against that and trying to get a bunch of things done quickly. You'll find that it just isn't happening because the retrograde energy slows us down. It's a really good time to take advantage of that. And give yourself a break. Acknowledge all the work you've done. Acknowledge how far you've come. Give yourself a pat on the back. Acknowledge what you're doing now, what you're going through, stepping out of your comfort zone. And just know that the universe supports you. It supports these changes. 
may not feel like it at times, but it is supportive of our growth and our evolution. Okay, so we're going to release that and let's move into our additional sequence. So we're going to move right along here. We'll start with the PowerPoint to third eye hookup. So you can just do um, middle fingers or you can do three finger notches if that's what you prefer. Three finger notches, thumb, index, and middle finger, just like that. You can do this. The PowerPoint is right here at the base of the skull, top of the spine. So you're holding there and you're holding here at the third eye which is right at the brow. So you're just going to hold. You are pushing up just a bit in the PowerPoint. That push up it kind of hooks you in and connects you into the energy. And the PowerPoint, of course, is a primary wind point. It's an entry and exit point for energy in our system. It's also a main entry to the electrical energy. So the electrical energy of the body is closely associated with the nervous system. Whenever we're repatterning, that means we're also reprogramming reprogramming the nervous system because the nervous system carries out the programs right that are in the patterns the patterns are the background um, it's it's the program itself but the nervous system is responsible for carrying that program out we're running the programs so we're just going to sink in here and hold for two minutes Give the energy time to engage. See what you notice. See what comes up for you as you do this. I wouldn't be surprised if you get some emotion as we're going through this sequence today. Not because what we're doing is really um, churning things up, but because there's just been so much already churned up that's probably hanging out in there. And still breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. You'll find with the breath that you get a lot more movement or releasing when you breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. As opposed to just breathing in through the nose, in and out through the nose. Okay, so now we're going to release that. We're going to bring the left fingers to the line around the left ear. That's the triple warmer line. And the right fingers are going to be in a three finger notch on your thymus. So we're just going to move, going to move my necklace over. That's right here at the center of the sternum. This is one way of connecting triple warmer with spleen as a radiant circuit. So both of them acting in their radiant capacity. Uh, what that means is that you are connecting into the more positive aspects of those meridians, but also lighting them up um, with, with a self-healing energy or so that they can act as in, a, in their capacity as um, supporting the, the self-healing energies of the body. We're just going to hold this side for two minutes and then we'll switch. This is a nice time to tune in whenever we're connecting into the radiant energies of the body. You should feel a little something there. You should feel a little bit uplifted. You should feel to me, it feels like the sun starts to shine through clouds. And it doesn't mean that I felt cloudy before. That's just, um, how it feels when radiant energy is activated. <sighs> mm. 
Now this is something that you can do at any time. You know, I mentioned that a lot of these things that we're going to be doing can be done by themselves. They don't have to be done in sequence and are very beneficial. And this is a really nice one um, because when we're working with changing patterns, inevitably we need to work with triple warmer and spleen because that is the foundation of our stress response and our immune response. And there's a whole consciousness really to, to that, that system in itself, triple warmer and spleen. And if we can tap into them in their radiance, that's a really nice way to work with them. So it's not just, you know, a lot of times when we work with triple warmer, we say we're talking to it, we're wanting it to be on board, we're wanting it to join the dialogue and to accept the changes. This takes that a step farther. This takes that into a higher place. Not only do we want it to just accept the changes, we want it to embrace those changes, to, to sort of illuminate those changes. Okay, so let's switch sides. So same thing on the other side, you're just switching your hands. And you can do this seated or lying down. You can prop yourself, that's fine. So don't worry if your arms are getting tired and you need to rest, that's fine. And also it's curious to know the difference between one side and the other. Do you notice a difference? Some of you might be feeling pulses in the places that you're holding. That's always nice. That means the energy is really coming up there. You might feel the pulses start to synchronize between the, the two hands. Okay. We're going to release that. And now we're going to do just a little bit of stroking of the neck and particularly around the thyroid gland. So this is just stroking, you're pulling the energy. Now this is over the fifth chakra. And I often talk about how the fifth chakra is a processing center. It can be a place where energy gets stuck. So when we're going through big changes, and I, I've talked about this quite a bit in these classes, we can work with the fifth chakra, but we, we also need to be aware that when we're dealing with something difficult and we're struggling with it, having a hard time processing, or we might, we might just be still processing remnants of something, um, old patterns, um, whatever it might be, anything that's in the in process can show up here at the fifth chakra. And just stroking the neck can help keep the energy moving. So things aren't getting stuck here. Sometimes when there's a lot at the fifth chakra, then that, the, the energy moving up and down the chakra channel can get stuck. And this just helps keep that moving. And it also helps to stimulate the thyroid gland. If you have thyroid issues, this is a really great thing to do every day for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now, even if you have hyperthyroidism, it doesn't mean you're bringing more energy to it. When you do this, it means that you're stimulating it so that it is acting in its capacity, right? You want it to, to function. And you can also be clearing stuck energy from there. All right. 
Okay, now we're going to do cross pulls at the neck. So we're, we're pulling the energy across. I'm just gonna grab behind the neck and pull across one side to the other. This is reinforcing the cross pattern that sits in the fifth chakra and keeping a nice cross pattern going here. Again, so that energy doesn't get stuck and so that those things that are processing continue to process well. And if they aren't processing well, maybe this will kickstart them. Okay, so that's good. Now we're going to finish by tracing the yin regulator. So again, all things you've seen before today. The yin regulator starts with drawing a heart on the face, and we are going to do this two times. So you know, don't worry if you're, you're a little behind on the first one. So we're going to inhale, draw a heart on the face, and exhale down the inside of the arms. Now you're going to bring the hands directly under the breasts, just putting them right under the breast. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, pull straight down the front of the legs and off of the foot. And then you're going to grab across the bridge of the foot and squeeze. And just take a nice breath there. Good. And now we're going to do that one more time. So we're drawing a heart on the face. Inhale. Exhale down the inside of the arms. Come to under the breast, nice deep breath in. And exhale straight down the front of the legs off of the foot and squeeze across the bridge of the foot. This is the yin regulator flow. It's one of the radiant circuits and it's all about keeping those yin energies balanced and moving well. And of course the yin energies are deep. They run deep. So whenever we're talking about a deep reset, it's good to work with the yins. And that is it for today. So thanks again for joining me. Please do remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed that class. And if you're interested in more classes like that, do click on that link below. See you next time.